Hello, good evening. It's six o'clock, which means it's time for a brand new launch of a one day special. And what a one day special we've got. And it's already going. Please go to the website and check out. And of course, now it's time for fun and frolics with our <laughs> John Lockwood. Hi, John. Hi, just hands. Jazz I get to hands. do what I'm with you. I know, I know. Sam's going, stop doing the jazz hands. He will <laughs> text me. Yes. <laughs> right, now, so we're going Art Deco. We are. Special. Yes, this is a collection. I, I, I love this collection. And I, I did a competition recently recently on my um, sort of social media yeah. asking what phrase do I say a lot and people said I say I love it a lot so uh -huh. I am very sorry I obviously do Go but I do love it. too much stuff mm -hmm. this to me is really archetypal mm -hmm. art deco it's not what you're used to uh -huh. it's not what you're going to normally see which is the fancy ladies the sort of Moogler type ladies yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that we're all used to this is classic Art Deco and Art Deco comes from you can see there that beautiful design there Art Deco comes from a, a it's turn of the century starting and it comes from a Chinese and Japanese a sort of East Asian mm -hmm. influence it's fascinating, on design yes. yeah and what happened was that sort of started to come in and you remember seeing that in the sort of 1900s 1920s there was a Indeed. lot of chinoiserie which is basically like for yeah. the Chinese it's the French version of Chinese style mm -hmm. Um, and it developed from there into sort of very linear lines and very blocky things. So if you actually start on your left on the TV, as I'm looking at it, so I oh, know that's complete. Yeah, if you start on the left, you'll see that's a very, almost the middle of that looks very, very Chinese influence. Right, OK. But then as you move along, you actually see a progression going backwards. Right, OK. As they get more modern. So you've got there a sort of very Art Deco pattern. Indeed, yes. Then you move into this next one, which to me looks very much like a circuit board. Ah, modern it does, these it does, days. it does, yeah. Yeah, and then you finally move on to almost like a traditional way where they've modernised the old Greek key design I like that trace so this collection is all based around Look what to me is I studied at college as proper art deco um, and I know that so you can see here this has got a real massive Hang Japanese on. influence yeah. I love this have I put the lights on I don't know if you put the lights on, on oh that one. no I want the lights on oh they are there they are, they are just put them on Excellent. This is just a stunning one, this one. You've got there, you can see, whereas at this top one now, so you can see at the top, mm -hmm. oh. that to me screams Chrysler Building, Art Deco, yes, yes. classic 20s. Mm -hmm. But when you move down to the sort of the Greek key one, although that's a very modern look. I love that. That has a very traditional Japanese, yes. Chinese look to it. And it just shows the flexibility of the Art Deco as a concept. Mm -hmm. And what we've done, I haven't designed these. OK. You know, these are classic designs. I haven't designed these. These came from our manufacturers. OK, Dave. They presented the designs mm -hmm. and they presented about 20 and we edited them down to yeah, these four. they're beautiful. That we absolutely loved and we, I had them changed. And, you know, there's some few influences of mine on there, but I don't want anyone to think, you know, okay. I designed these. I didn't reinvent the wheel. These no, came lovely. from there. lovely. You're so honest, John. But what we did was we, we named them based on... Um, Art Deco artists and designers. OK. So you've got the one, as I say, on the first one, you've got the chinoiserie. I love that. Which is basically, it's the Chinese style. It French. is, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. And it is. And it works so well, but it works so staggeringly well, that one. It does a Chinese and there's one that looks so Art Deco and modern. Um, but you've got one there, I think, with this. really bright. Yes. But then you move on to the Teague. OK. Then you've got the Kalfa. OK. Then you've got the Cassandra. Amazing. And they're all Art Deco designers. For example, Kalfa in the middle, mm -hmm. he actually designed the first modern Kodak camera. Yeah, yeah I, this is fascinating to me. Yeah. So he was known for designing the original, mm -hmm. um, that sort of Art Deco. And you think of the camera with the smoothed edges yeah, and things. Yeah. All of these are people who were influential in the actual design element. Less well known as artists, yeah. but were there as design. And I felt these typified what they were doing I'm Amazing. sorry I've spoken far too oh much. no no not at all <laughs> but I do need to let everybody know that we are almost a quarter of the stock gone in just four <laughs> minutes we are so so busy now I'll show you loads of samples you know what always will but we need to break this down and because you've brought us again a very very good deal here so you've got that four pound saving but if you are a freedom member look at that you've got twice the saving in fact a little bit more eight pounds and 20 pence saving now we've also we're also putting this on flexi buy that is really good. Now, we don't normally do that if no, it's under 40. No, I was going to say, Sam was saying oh, that'll be, it won't be on flexi this one because it's below the, the threshold. Yeah. So. Oh, you Treating are being generous. You. Well, it's not, I'd like to say it's me, but it's not. Right, so look, you've got two payments of £18.88. Um, and, oh, OK, it's absolutely flying out.
out the door, please do check out your baskets. 484488 is your item number. Have to say, I really love the, the I love the history behind it though there, John. Like so to it. me, there has to be. It's yeah. not about there being a story. There has to be a reason for something. Yeah. And these are so flexible and they work so well. And I just wanted people to understand why we'd called it Art Deco. Yeah. And, and to grasp what you can use it in. And you can see there, mm -hmm. that to me looks so Art Deco. It does. You t it really has that screaming thing, but you've got a sample there this which you one, can slide this in. This is beautiful. With exactly the same die set. Look at that. Now that to me, screams turn of the century Chinese. Yes. Japanese, that American style, mm. you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure actual genuine Chinese people would not recognize that. It's our Western or uh, yeah, adaptation of, you, of it. Yeah, that's, yeah, lovely. That's just beautiful. Okie dokie then. Right, it's absolutely gone nuts out there. Your fastest way to order is online at thecraftstore.com. I can't believe we've managed to pop that on Flexi by. Oh yes, of course, we need to mention this, don't yes. we? Okay. <laughs> You may have been expecting the magazine. It is coming. It's just there's been... It's it's basically, it should be in England and it's not. It's in the yes. Netherlands. <laughs> basically, it's Customers mad, have mad. played their usual trick and we were told on Wednesday mm. that it wouldn't be here. Um, so we had the option of going on something like a two or a two and a half week extended. And you didn't want to do that. That's or fair enough. Go or bring in a whole new show that's not planned until a lot later. Yes. So we didn't want to go on the extended because it really frustrates people. And it oh, frustrates no. us as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really does. It You know, we have orders sitting everywhere and nobody likes it. Mm -hmm. Um, but it does mean that the entire prep, the girls had already done their samples, yeah. but every sample I've made, every demo I've prepped, mm -hmm. I started at nine o'clock on Thursday morning. Oh my gosh, you've been, have you slept? Yes. Oh yeah. But it, it shows the flexibility because I've made mm -hmm. 14 different cards. I've made three with each of these dies. Right, okay. In two and a half days. That's great. And to me, they're all different. Yes. And I think that's what's important. It shows the flexibility. The products are right. You yes. can do that at home. Absolutely. Now, do you want me to show if it, oh my goodness, right, a third of the stock has gone in just seven minutes. Now, what would you like, John? Shall I show some samples or shall I also show the... Uh, the, the, newbies. I think we might, the, the new flower might need Should to pop in. All because, right, let's yeah. do this. As I said, I'll show you lots of samples later. Right, these are all so brand new. Yes, um, John <laughs> is the only person who's got these. You're going to get them, obviously. I am, I'm the only person in the country currently who has one of these dies open and cut to use. Amazing. These were planned in to go late June or July or possibly September. Yeah. Because as I was explaining to you, I, I design in bursts. Mm -hmm. And then we order everything in and then I decide how they're going to drop out so that people, they drop slowly to, yeah. to meet everyone's budget and they yeah. work together. When we had to pull this show together quickly, I said, I'll put the thistle flower out Yay. there because I love it. So only samples of the thistle flower are mine and literally I've had Bless the two you. and a half days. Yeah. But I adore this flower. It's I, stunning. I just think it's so different. It's actually based on mm -hmm. a photograph yeah. that was sent to me by one of our design team members, Maxine. Okay. And she sent me a picture of a sea holly. All right. I've actually got it on my phone. I should have given it the studio. She said, can I have a flower like this? So this was based on her request. It's beautiful. And as ever, I love that you like, you know, you've got the corners, that you've got the one plate to cut loads. I love that. You have. This would be genuinely, to have this many flowers from a die set, it would be twice as much metal if they weren't on a plate. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's just made. Now, look, we've got another stock update. A quarter of the stock has gone. Look, you know John's shows are always really, really busy. So please check out your baskets now and then um, you can just relax and watch the demos. OK, now, is this true? Once it's gone, it's gone? On the Art Deco. Oh, apologies. On the one day special. Right, okie dokie. Um, a few samples of the beautiful, aren't they gorgeous, gorgeous flowers? Look at these. You may have seen these because both of these two cards. Yeah. Um, were on the packaging for dies that have already been released. Oh! So this was on the packaging, I think, for the numbers die, and okay. the next this one, one was on the packaging for the tartan. Oh yes! And lots of people asked for it because I make them all together. You do, and yeah. then they're released slowly, so it shows how they do work with the original. But that's the original packaging shot I did for this flower and the tartan. Amazing! Right then, eighteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. It is absolutely flying. Go to the website at thecraftstore.com. Now you can at the moment buy the dies individually from the one day special, but you know that that doesn't last long. So do make sure you're checking out your baskets. Now we've got the Isink sprays. 
Oh yes, and the Craft Artist ink pads, you know they're always a favourite as well. Do check out your baskets. If you want to send in any pictures, of course, of any of your previous um, John's collections, then absolutely do. Oh, we've also got your staples, we've got the glues, your adhesives, they're all there for you as well. Lovely. Um, that's a beautiful card. Well, Is this, this where we're going? This, to me, okay. really said Art Deco. Mm -hmm. This was with the gold and the black, the way that the thistle flowers and the leaves just frame it yeah it really said it but it said it classily if right. that makes sense yeah, yeah, absolutely. do you know what I mean? and i thought it's just so nice and it's based on a card that leslie did where she'd done a similar idea yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by making the background because you can see the flowers in the background are kind of shiny mm. they've got that look we've yeah. made that and it's the reason why we put the sprays on this show i love the sprays um because when you've got a dye like this i mean if i bring the dye in you can see here when you've got a die like this um oh we're a little bit well, what's up in there then there we go oh, there we go <laughs> just don't look front wise on okay and you won't tell I, i'm working a little bit strange when you look at the dies that particular what you see it's it's quite it's simple but not okay and this is where you can use all your background techniques and all those pieces yeah and I actually when I started on this went to a big box I've got at home called background pieces okay and it's a massive box full of pieces I've made on all different shows nice um, and start pulling them out so piece of black card here okay I've got crafts two linen card right but whatever you've got in black okay -doke. and it's just really simple I'm using the eyes ink sprays this is the gold oh I love that but this if you look up here this mm -hmm. is dry it's incredible that it dries quickly yeah well it's it certainly so would in here it's boiling but anyway <laughs> that, can you see how much mica's in that yes look at that that's settled as it's been driving in the car uh-huh that's the difference right i'm used to having i used to have sprays at a teaspoon full in mm, there's <laughs> yeah loads in there. there's far loads in this but yeah anyone can do that yeah yeah of course we can. silver gold and i'm going to mix a little bit I tell you what, we're going to do a little bit different, shall we? Oh, why not? I'm going to mix a little bit of red in. Let's do it. On top. Okay. And again, none of this silly rolling or, you, you know, I give do. them a good shake. You know me. <laughs> That's how they were designed. Yeah. But that, if I hold that up, can you see? That's stunning. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely stunning. So this is quick dry. So I know that I'm going to be able to use these mm -hmm. in about two or three minutes, but I've put three or four layers on. Yeah. So I can give it a quick waft with my heat gun. Sure. So something you can cover for a minute. Indeed. Just to give it a little bit of an extra dry. Here they are. Look at these beautiful inks. Now you can get all 18 inks. Maybe you haven't started your collection. Well, here it is. There we go. Um, so you've got all 18 of these. Now you can get sets of three as well. Um, uh, that's at the bottom of the screen, but hey, I would want the complete collection. Um, so uh, you can spread the cost to payments of £44 and it'll swizzle around in a minute. £44 and 47 pence. Uh, 780099 is your item number. Therefore, where did I do with the board? Ah, good, 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 good. Here's the I, board. I was on the wonk when I made this. Don't, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> this was designed for the overhead camera, wasn't it, obviously? Clearly, I don't know what's up with the overhead. We'll try and get it fixed. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> that is, look at all those beautiful colours. They're so vibrant. Each one of those, Sam made me. Did he? The circles. Oh, bless him. He made me promise to tell everybody that he didn't make the board together. That was me. Okay. Which it was. He cut the circles. Yeah. Yep. And then he sprayed each one twice with two spritzers. Just that, right, okay. And that's it. And then he heat dried it with a heat gun uh -huh. to get that so you could see the colour. But that is literally white card yeah. with just two squirts of ink on it. Wow, that coverage is phenomenal, isn't it? Absolutely phenomenal. Right, um, your item number is 780099. Oh my gosh, we've got an update on the one day special. Right, we're only a quarter, well, it's only a quarter past, right, the hour. We are, what, what, what? Over half the stock gone. Good grief. Now you can spread the cost as well. Now um, it's £37.76 if you are a Freedom member. Now when it's under £40, um, sorry, yeah, we don't normally do flexi buy, but we've done it for you. Uh, two payments of £18.88, but over half the stock gone. 484488 is your item number. 
You've got to be really quick on this. Please do not miss out. Okay, back to you, John. Right, okay, so there's my background, which you can see. If I hold that up, can you see? Oh, look at the shine. The shine you get off. That's what you get with quality mica and a yeah. lot of it in there. Nice. It's one area I think get really right of their sprays. Absolutely. It really is. But if you notice, not on the back. Good stuff. That's what I love about it. So yep. I've made my background and it's messy and anyone can do that. 100%. That's no skill base. So now we need to put the top on. So I'm going to use... And I've forgotten the name of this one. Is this the Cassandra, isn't oh, it? Hello. I'm sure. This one, yes. This one? Yes. Yeah. That's Cassandra. Good stuff. So, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this on, and I'm using black gloss card, which is the craft artist one, which I'm, you might have on the website. I'm yep. not sure. But the other thing I love about this collection is, every single die fits through an A5 machine. Lovely. I so see what you've got. That machine there. All fit on the Kaleido. Yeah. I didn't have to get my... Um, go power out. Okay. Um, I want to, and, and this is the reason I wanted to show you this one first is because this is what you'll get every time. You have to put it straight on. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to run that through and cut it as normal. Okay. And you'll get what I call the sleeping policeman. Right. Yeah. So if I turn this over, can you see? I mean, it, the problem is it's a good machine. Can you see that? It is cut through on that one. On that one, it's. It's not quite. Just slightly, yeah. yeah. But the dies have been designed so that if you look, oh, that they will way. go that way as well in an A5 machine. Very good. So a lot of the times you'll get dies and they'll go, they'll fit in an A5 machine, mm -hmm. but they'll only fit one way. Yes, they will. And they won't cut well one way. And that's one frustrating. Way. Yeah, it is. Because we've got lots and lots of straight lines. So all of those straight lines there... Uh -huh. If they're going that way, yeah. they'll only get less than a second of pressure over them. Right. Whereas when they go that way, they get a lot more. Yes. But it's important that they fit. That's great. You're both so ways. Brilliant when you design. You really, oh, you know. I didn't. I, 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 I sized that. these. <laughs> sized them. That's the word. I sized sorry. them to match ours. We took their designs. That's it. And that's what I meant. <laughs> um, and we worked with it. Yes. So, but that's the other thing. A good machine. Look at the detail. Look how you get all that out. Oh, I love it on the gloss card as well. It's beautiful on the gloss card. Mm. And what I want to do is this is, these dies are brilliant for doing what I call tricks. Okay. For actually showing your crafting ability and making it look far better than it is. Because mm -hmm. I, oh, I, I fake most of mine, yep. to be honest, to make it look better than it is. Let me just roll that out of the way because it's I love that always hard to get. Oh, so my product of last year, but you know that one. But it really easily, I've cut this three times. Yep. Yeah. And if you see, let's turn this over onto the pink. This is, so. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. There's two, but look. Oh, one that's way. That's brilliant. It fits exactly. Oh, that's good. So you can extend it. Yeah. Doesn't fit. Turn it round. Yeah. 90 degrees. Fits three times. But. It will also, look. Oh, I like that Turn it as well. the other way. Yep. It fits there. Oh, that's clever. Exactly to the end. Yep. Get this one in. And what is that one fit? That one fits exactly. I love so those designs. So you can build the mop. You can build up different pieces. You can fit it in different. See, there it doesn't fit. So okay. rotate it. 180 degrees, is it? And look, it fits. Marvellous. So that's... So straight away, I'm taking something. I can cut in an A5 machine and make it yep. bigger, but it's perfect for small cards. Excellent. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. Yes. Into the box that you have Into there. the box that I have down here to spray into, <laughs> not to ruin another floor. <laughs> and I'm just going to layer them up three together. Okay, Dave. And this is, this is actually one of the ways we test the quality of a die. Right. So we were talking about this earlier, we weren't were, we? And we you were saying, what do you and Sam do when you're testing quality of dies? <laughs> you, you really we do. run we, them we, the milk. And machines, we hammer them. Yeah. We really, really do. So what we do is a good quality machine die mm -hmm. will cut to this level so that all three yeah. fit on top. And all you can tell is the depth. Uh -huh. You don't, you, can you see you, you're not seeing any sw swatchy lines no, or no. anything? That's because great. 
the die cuts the same every single time. Wonderful. Quick stock update yeah. if I may, John. This is madness, right? So we are over 60% of the stock gone and we've got eight minute queues on the phones. Obviously, we'll try and get to you as soon as possible, but the website is where you need to go, thecraftstore.com. Um, don't miss out. Right. Back okay, so what I'm going to do now is just simply, I've spray glued these and I'm just going to find a bit that I love. And what I'm looking to do is, there yep. we go, there, perfect. I'm finding a piece that I get the, the colour through keys. I'm going to cover a lot of this middle. Okay. Yeah. So all I'm going to do then is just literally trim it out. And you could use your guillotine, your paper trimmer or a pair of scissors. It's square or a craft knife. Yeah. It takes no work. I believe mm -hmm. these are in the same design straights of the seven by five that we do okay. to fit with the press cut rectangle dies. Oh, lovely stuff, okay. But I can't tell you 100%. Yes, okay. Because as I say, I didn't, we sized and requested, we didn't, I didn't draw these, so yeah. I can't say that. But you can see there. That looks really funky. Got those beautiful colours. Yeah. So what we need now is a middle for it. Okay. So I'm going to take the middle of the die. Yep. Okay. And what I've got is, I'm going to cut the gold. Now, this die is quite clever because I couldn't actually think of another way that this could be done. Okay. Because you'd have to do another one. Because what it does is it cuts you a beautiful thing. You know the sort of Art Deco? Yeah. It had that really thin gold or silver yes, yes, line very, detail. Yes, very fine. Yeah, around. So what happens is, when I cut this die... Okay. The outside comes out, there's the middle, Yep. but it leaves, there's the very fine. Oh, lovely right? stuff. But I want to be able to put that okay. onto a different colour easily. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what I actually do is, yep. I give this uh -huh. a little bit, I'm using the glue glaze, I love these. use something like a glue glaze. Because what I'm doing is, I don't want, it doesn't matter if it touches the dye a little bit, but I don't want this touching the dye everywhere. But with this, can you see the little end of the lip gloss thing? Yeah. Means it's touching, it's only touching the die cut virtually. Cool. I'm nice. not coating that in glue. Yeah? Yeah, good. So, what I then do, take a piece of the black gloss card, mm -hmm. put that down to it. And we're just going to cut that. Oh, because then, yeah, okay, that's wonderful. Now, what it should do is cut through the black. So it'll cut through too, okay. Well, but, yeah. because of the way machines work, it's never as good a pressure mm -hmm. on the outside. So what I do is pop the outside off. Okay. Yeah, okay, there. And then I can either take a little bit of tape or a little bit of foam tape. Okay. Which is what I should be doing, but I've just remembered. Every show I forget something, and that's what I've forgotten this show. Darn. We'll see if we can find yourself. Every time. But can you I see that? I can there? see Jack's on it. Yeah. There. Oh, that's so pretty. That is really nice. But how easy is that? Can you yeah. imagine trying to piece it back in? No, thank you. Oh, sorry, it lasts too short. <laughs> I know, It right? really <laughs> genuinely is. Yeah. But then, of course, that then fits bang in the middle of there. That's perfect. And we need a gold mat. So all I do is, uh -huh. and I want to show you that, because this is what I do every time. I don't measure things with rules very often. Mm -hmm. I use my guillotine and basically, look, it's four inches yep. by five and three quarter inches. Perfect. So I cut a gold mat to four and an eighth uh -huh. yep, by five and three quarters of an eighth. Nice. Yeah, I just add an eighth on. Okay. And then I'm just simply going to glue that down onto my gold. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So, so I keep classy. that fine gold border. Yeah. There we go. That Onto is there, really classy. Yeah. You see, you've got that, and then I would put that in the middle. Okay. But if you want to cover something for a minute, and yes, I'll just I will. check my thingy for foam tape and get those glued. Excellent. Oh, how much is gone? Over oh. two thirds of the stock has gone of the one day special. Now, once these have gone, these have gone. So I can't go, John, can we get a few more? No, we can't do that, can we? No. No, okay. No. Right, I'm right. <laughs> I know can how we? much we put on can and how we? much we had. <laughs> right then. So this is it. It's a now or never. 
Okay, it is a why not deal. So you might as well become a Freedom member because then you get that extra 10% and your postage is covered. Lovely stuff. So it's, um, it's really, really, really busy out there. Now we've got 10 minute queues on the phone lines. Please do go to the website. Don't miss out on this. It's absolutely stunning. Let me just show you the boards actually that John's done for us. Here we go. So this one is the Cassandra. Yeah, so right. you've got, there you've got the outside sort of, I keep calling it the Greek key design, even it's though lovely. it's not. Yeah. Um, you've got that beautiful interior, you've got that fine line, but you also get the rectangle from the middle. Yeah. So you're getting quite a few pieces out wow. of what is effectively just one die or two dies. Nice. Then we've got this one here. Kaufa. Kaufa. Kaufa, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which is almost like a... Um, it's like a circuit board almost. I can but see that. But it's such a traditional idea. You could see that on sort of screens of the 20s and 30s. Yeah, yeah. Or in the windows of things like the um, Chrysler building. Mm -hmm. it, it's got that look to it. It's wonderful. Then we go on to Teague. So yes. again, this is just, and this is repeatable on all four directions. Right. So okay. you can slot it back in and you can repeat on all four directions. Nice. And then last but not least, this is the Cassandra. That's no. The, no, that's the Chinoiserie. Sorry, Chinoiserie. I just which I this. know is the one that you said you were going to, you thought you might struggle yes, with. Yes, Chinoiserie. Chinoiserie. <laughs> um, which I'm sure believe it means just Chinese style. Okie dokie. In, in French. Yeah. But it, Chinoiserie is all about enamel. Right. So the gloss card, it's all about red and black and gold. It, yeah. It's very evocative. It, it's evocative of the whole whole epoch of, that, of yeah. that period. What's a good word. Now look at these beautiful samples that have been sent in. They are absolutely awesome. That's one of mine. Oh, I so think that it's was beautiful. made. I, I've got that for a demo, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, well, at eight mm, o'clock. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, Katie's gone, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh. this was one of Leslie's, but I think that is just so to say that was the you know that's same. No, if you look at the next card yeah, in yeah. that pile. Look at this. So that's this is the, the same, same die. Sorry, there we go. That's completely different. That is incredible. Love that. And then look at this one. Doesn't this one look so elegant? Love that. That one's by, apologies. That one's by Barbara. It's really striking, isn't it? Uh, then we've got this here. Again, look, 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 look. Look at the difference. I'm going to show two different ones. So you've got this one. And then you've got, let's show this one. Hang on, hang on. Completely different. Look at that. That's so incredible, isn't it? It is. It, it's the flexibility you can get out of this because yep. what you're actually getting with these dies, and certainly the sort of the chinoiserie, mm -hmm. you're getting a set of lines. Yes. And effectively, if I bring this one up. Yeah, nice. Can you see here, what you're getting is a set of lines. And those lines, again, are repeatable. Yeah. But you've got that classic Art Deco shape going around the middle. Mm -hmm. But also, that will fit on top, so you can make a longer car. Yes. You can put four panels together, you can put, twist it in the middle. It's giving you all the lines, which are the real Art Deco idea. And nice. if you are into the classic Art Deco yeah. look, yeah. you know, with the beautiful decorated pet ladies. Yes. And, and that's and very style. popular because it was the first time that they were doing we were making fashion illustrations into home illustrations. Right. Because most of those at the time were fashion illustrations okay. to start with. I love all your knowledge. And then they became, they started becoming into the bars and the restaurants and the clubs as being sort of painted on the wall. Yeah. But if you're into that sort of thing, these are the backgrounds for them. Uh-huh. You know, if you're struggling and you've got an old CD even. Oh, yeah. Of, you know, but we have. Yeah, we do, we You do. know, of some of the, you know, Art Deco ladies. Uh -huh. Or I know Barbara did a range of them. She did, yeah. These are the great, backgrounds that will actually let you take it somewhere else mm -hmm. and that's understand. what i love love that right okay please 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 be quick because we are 70 percent of the stock gone uh we've got this as a freedom discount um, and we've got it on Flexi by two payments of I think it was eighteen pounds and eighty eight pence something like that. Uh, item yes it is. Item number is four eight four four eight eight. So this is a why not deal. But once that's gone, can't get any more. Yeah, we're so busy, so busy. Um, uh, something else that we are extremely busy for, we are over a third of our beautiful thistle flowers. Yeah. And you had a lot of those. We've got a deep yeah, stock, you have haven't we? have got a deep we? stock of those. Uh, amazing. They're just brilliant. Again, let me show you the die, because I just, or the dies, because obviously your fronds um, are, are there as well. But I just love these. They're like little starbursts, aren't they? Very, very beautiful. And then here, let's bring some samples in. Just look, they're so tactile. They are, you want to touch them. Yeah. It, I think it's the first flower I've made mm -hmm. where 
I wanted to build up more and more layers. I, yeah. I, you wanted to touch them and you feel like you can. Yeah. And there's the one that's over, I think, to your is it right. The, oh, yeah, we must show it, the, my right. The, your right, and oh, the I'm blue good. one, which where it looks like Sweet William. Have I covered it? You might have. Oh, yes. this one. Um, which always makes me think of my grandfather because he used to grow it. Oh. But just using them in a different way, yeah. it's got that look to me of like a pom-pom of a Sweet William. You could yeah. build them up and you would look like alliums, which we've currently got in... I should have done that, shouldn't I? We've got purple oh. alliums in the garden. Yeah, yeah. But those Next done time. in purple would look beautiful. Yeah. All, and you can, of course... I will show you how to do that. Mm -hmm. You just push in the middle, but you could pin those into a ball, okay. a foam ball, and get a full sort of allium look. That sounds good. Or a good. sweet William or something really good. Yeah. It's just, it is, it's a tactile flower. It is, I love that. Right, please, again, be quick on this. Of course, do you know what, though? Um, actually, we're going um, to we're gonna tell you a little bit about Flexi Order and everything, but... Um, we, it, when you get the one day special, it'll open up your flexi basket, which means if you want to go for the thistles, you're only paying half today, which is excellent. Uh, 409 485 is your item number. Right, we're just going to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, so for just for a moment then, let's take a look at uh, all about flexi order. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for FlexiOrder, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Okie dokie. Now, I have to inform you that because it is so busy, basically our um, checkout system has had a little bit of a meltdown. Don't go anywhere. Please keep trying. We are working hard to fix it. Just during that little um, uh, Flexi Order VT, John and I were chatting because you've had it happen to you, haven't we you? We did. It happened to Sam and I on the Zurry show. Right. I wanted the Astrolathe. Yeah. Um, and we actually managed to get it checked out 15 minutes after the end of the show. Right. But it did take 45 minutes. So I do understand. Yeah. I know it's awful when, because we were sat at home watching. Yeah. I think it was Catherine course, saying, yes. this has happened. Yeah. Everyone's chasing around manically to try and sort it. I know what it's like being on that side of it. Yeah. Um, you know, they, the stuff's allocated, but they are working really hard. But yeah, yeah it, was, it was really frustrating. I was getting annoyed because I kept saying, I really want that. <laughs> yeah, stamp and, your foot. Uh, yeah, I'm, in yeah. fact, I'll actually ask him if, 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 if he's watching to take a photo of what I did with it. Oh, all It's right. on my desk in the craft room and oh, we'll show you what lovely. I made with it when I got it. That would be fabulous like that. So, yes, don't go anywhere. Don't give up. Just keep trying to check out and we'll get to you. Um, Okie dokie. Right, um, back to right, you. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the thistle. So I'm using more of the paper I made. Okay. Yeah, I just love the sheen. Mm. And I know that you would think that, because these are quite fine flowers, yeah. you would think that, oh, it's, it's, if you cut them in pattern paper, you won't see it. But when you do sprays on paper, it makes a real difference. I know you picked up earlier the, the sort of pastel coloured one over there. Do, do this that was one? was to the right of the spray stood up. Um, Am I on the right the one? the glitter on it, the one that stood up. This one, this no, one? Next one, Log. Next. No. Keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. That one. This one. Oh, this is beautiful. Check this but out. Can you see the difference in colours you get, even though it's fine, yeah. by using sprayed paper? Mm. And again, so sometimes what I would say is you'd look at it and go, if I want to use a patterned paper okay, yeah. or um, a handmade paper that you've made yourself, yeah. you'd think you need a wide flower or a wide dye to make it work. But you don't. You don't. A, good. a finer one works better sometimes. Oh, that's interesting. Um, because you actually, you lose the big blobs mm -hmm. and the blobbiness. So if you're not the blobbiness. best at spraying but you love the look, yeah. this is perfect because it's not something I'm best at. But can you see there? I love these. Oh, stunning. But, let's be honest, that's not the most attractive of paper. <laughs> but it's not, is it? You wouldn't go and you wouldn't pay a pound a sheet for no, that. No, You enough. wouldn't. But when you see it cut, that's 
Beautiful. So what you get in here as well is, I always try and work the same way. So because these are so fine, can you see I'm pushing them out mm -hmm. from underneath using my fingers? Yeah. Yeah. But what you get is you get all of the sizes and you get two of each size. So there are four main flowers mm -hmm. sizes. So here's me trying to put them into pairs. So we've got that pair. Let's put them in the right size. One, two, three. They are the lovely like little starbursts. Well, you could use these. I almost called them firework flowers. Yeah, they're beautiful. It was based on a sea holly, uh -huh. but when it was made up, I didn't feel it looked enough like the sea holly. Yeah. So we basically said, nah, you know, scratch that, we'll call it. Uh -huh. And then we spent ages naming it and we felt it, it was, I think Maxine again, it came up with thistle. Mm. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're not, you're not seeing those. So can you see there? Uh-huh. That's fabulous. If we actually on the overhead, you can see when I move it. Yeah. The shine. Amazing. And what you get is, so you get basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight main. If you double them up, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But then you also get all of the little pieces inside as well. So I'll just go do these and then I think you need to. So we've got four yeah. little mini centers. Yeah. And we've got one. One. Okay. Yeah. Two. You get four of these and you have to really check, but okay. so just very quickly, there we go. I Lovely. wanted to show everything cuts no, that's in one nice. go. Excellent. So basically from that A6 piece of card and that plate, you get one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nice. But that's if you lot. look with the lines around them that there would need to be if they were separate dies, that would be at least twice the price. Excellent. Lovely stuff. Um, right, so we're just going to, um, um, I know you need, just need to reset a little bit, so um, we're just going to have a short break, we'll be right back with you. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie and this is my dad Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So 
make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Howdy, um, I hope you don't mind, we went to a little break there. We're still working out those uh, payment issues. Uh, but we're going we're gonna, to, John's going to show you some more demos and stuff. Yes. We're just going to have a lovely time crafting. <laughs> we are. Yes. We are. So what I've done is I've cut the flowers. Let's just tilt this again so we get in the right look. <laughs> We've got to sort this out for the yeah. 8 o'clock. <laughs> I think it's since you had that power cut, isn't oh, it's it? It's messed yeah. everything up. Um, basically, so what I've got is you've got effectively 16 pieces from the die. And I, I, it always surprises me because I think... That's come out of a piece of card that big. Yeah, uh, amazing, really. yeah. So all you do is to put these together, it's the easiest in the world. I use the glue glaze. I use it because it's easier. Yeah. I use it because it's flat. I use it because it will glue anything because okay. obviously I've got mica spray on top of here. Yeah. And I know some people really do struggle with gluing things with mica on. Yeah. And then, but you see what happens when you rotate it. I really like that. Just offset it slightly that's why we nearly called them firework flowers mm -hmm. yeah because they did look like fireworks <sighs> yeah but that was a great idea of you can do lots of different things with it so that's i can go to that point uh -huh. yeah what i can also do however is i can take them that little bit further so what i've got here is just a piece of this is the crafts 2 flower molding foam mm -hmm. and the reason i'm saying which one it is is because it's very very it's dense. Yeah, I was going to say it's that's the It's not the one you normally think of, which is the soft stamping foam. Okay, okay. This is very dense. Um, and it, it's especially for flowers. So it does help a lot because what I'm going to do is just take then. I don't know why I'm doing that. I should use the pickup tool because oh, yeah. that's what I that's what I I go through so many of these. In fact, yeah. I've got an order arriving tomorrow okay. at home with another two packs of these because <laughs> I just seem to eat them. Um, <laughs> Basically, what I can do is, so I'm taking what I would call size two. Yeah. Yeah, which basically is the second largest ball from my set that I have the Crafts 2 set I use. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is just circle. See how much I'm pressing on? Yeah. I'm scribbling in the middle, but that's why the foam being firm yeah, really good. makes a difference. Because if you see, it's not dipping anywhere. Can we get this foam pad? I don't. We have brought it you before. Oh, I'm okay. not sure. I think it's probably out of stock at the minute. No worries. But use something... We normally used to say with flowers, use something like the back of a foam, of a mouse pad. Uh -huh. Don't. Okay. It's just not dense enough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't explain how I can't push my fingers together. No. I cannot. You can go white. I can't. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's how firm it needs to be. So the same thing again. What I'm going to do is a little bob of glue glaze. 
just in the center of each fly but you see how it keeps them flat yeah but it's so easy to put these together so i'm just going to open out each little flower uh -huh. a little bit you see how much they pop how much how much they, they go do. in they're fabulous so i'm just going to mold my tool this is available as an end of call oh thank that you worked. okay yeah well for, yeah maybe later or why not but again if it worked but you just see how it transforms that flower again yeah yeah that looks so pretty yeah oh, I love it. and then i've got even then i've got the tiny ones if i want to for the center uh-huh so a lot of the time i mean i am going to add gems in this but a lot of the time you get flower dyes and the very first thing that says right and so you need to use some pollen or a gem in the middle mm -hmm. and i think it's nice to think well no i could just have this dye yeah. and it's got enough in there yeah yeah definitely yeah because if you're anything like me we spend enough um <laughs> yeah thanks janice you want to make a quid out of me earlier yeah. on the really useful well. show <laughs> yeah because there's no there's no phones allowed in the studio so um I wasn't in here watching um, on my phone ordering or anything. <laughs> Definitely Was not. I, Alex? Uh, no. It's uh, not no. all gone down because I was ordering <laughs> on my phone in the studio. <laughs> Maybe that's why. So all I'm... Can you see now? But this was black card. Oh, that's gorgeous. We've made that. Mm. And all I do is pull up yep. literally every other petal. They're beautiful. Yeah? Yep. But look. But you see how well the glue works. I know. Because that's stuck. Yeah, perfect. Then you yeah. only put the tiniest little bit I on. I do. Well, that's why it's in a lippy. That's why we call it the lippy glue. Because <laughs> it's in a lip gloss container. It is. It is. We're not going to reinvent the wheel when something's been done. Uh -huh. But you can see there, again. That's just stunning. But they're from, this was from scratch, from just a piece of black card. So, and normally, I don't get time to sort of show you the whole full build on the flower. But you can see, yep. genuinely, if you take away me talking far too much. No, it's all good. It's five it's minutes. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a quick card. It's quickly done. So what I'm going to do is, uh -huh. so I've got those. They're all done. I'm now going to cut the foliage. Okay. Now, I was naughty. Right. I am naughty. I know you're in, you can be a bit naughty, Joe. What did I, you do? Well, you know, I tend to, I have a habit of buying myself two of every flower set. Yeah. I bought myself a second set of the leaves. <laughs> so I am cutting with two sets. Okay, that's I fair hasten enough. to add. And these are thistle. These were drawn to match. Yep. So these were drawn to match. And I don't have to tape them because, as you can you see, mm -hmm. oh, watch it not do it properly because my Kaleido base is magnetic. Okay, do. Once they're down, they're not going to slide. Okay. And normally I would tape those manically down. Yes. But I can get away with it just like that. But I'm just cutting these into the gold. But it's funny because I would look at these dies mm. and go, oh, that looks a bit ugly. Okay. When you look at it as a blobby die, but when you see it cut. Is it stunning? There you go. Oh, that's so they pretty. They do look natural like they, thistles. They do, don't they? They yeah. do look like thistle leaves. Lovely. Which is very lucky because these were drawn at the same time as that when it was going to be sea holly. <laughs> good stuff. So, you know, I, I felt lucky there. That's good. Because, um, again, I tend to draw the leaves and then name them. <laughs> but, so we go. But, again, you can see, again, they're very detailed. Yeah. I, I make so many requests. I really annoy the manufacturers. And I know I say <laughs> this and people think I, I do annoy them. Because these are fine lines, so don't sit so there fine, yeah. with your pokey tool mm -hmm. going. Literally, with these, push your finger through and ease it out. Okay. You'll think, you might go, oh, it hasn't cut. It's cut. It's just de delicate. They're You've all got fine. to just ease each one out. You can see on the back it's cut. Yeah. Nice. But just ease them out. Either push through or push up. Okay. Yeah, Lovely. so I've now got all of those. It's just a case of, of arranging them. And the way I tend to do that, so we'll bring in the card I've made earlier. Okay. But you can see I've got that depth. You see, by having that cut three times in the gloss. Yes, yeah, beautiful. I've got a level of depth. Uh huh. Yes, you can see that. Without using foam tape. That's good. And it's only taken a sheet and a half of card. But, but yeah. So this entire card uses half a piece of gold. Right and one sheet 
of gloss. So good stuff. So you're saving on So you're saving on that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to again use my glue glaze because I'm gluing this fine foliage. Uh -huh. And the other reason I'm using this is because I'm gluing gloss card to satin. Right. Or gloss to gloss. Yeah. And if I get the glue in the wrong place or I get a buildup of PVA and it squeezes out, uh -huh. you have to clean it off. You have to wet clean it off. Yes. So what I do is I build up, and this is my way of doing flowers, and you can always tell one of my cards because invariably they will have these days a big spray and a little spray. Yeah. <laughs> it's my balance, I'm sorry. No, I like so it. So I've taken two of I've the, the two that. largest leaves. Mm. But can you see there, I've put that smallest one there. Yeah. I've given a gap because in here, I'm going to have three flowers. So a little bit on the bottom. Uh -huh. I'm going to go one. Use your flower moulding tool to push in to adhere it. Mm -hmm. Oh, glue glaze. People have asked, always store it upright. Oh, OK. Because if you store it on the flat, it'll go in the sides. Yeah. And you, when you dip in, it's not it there. needs to be at the bottom. Yeah, cool. Okay. How many times have you done it with your lip gloss? Yeah, I suppose a lot, actually. Yeah. Not that I'm suggesting you change your lip gloss a lot or anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Go through it like anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, wouldn't be seen without my lippy. She, she, she has glossed her lips at least twice during this show <laughs> while we've been talking. Um, but, yeah, it's the same idea. If it's not at the bottom, then how is yeah. the brush going to pick it up? Absolutely. But you can see there just the three flowers against the three leaves. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm almost going to echo it at the top. So, again, I'm going to take just three leaves and I'm going to do one there. Yeah. Basically, triangles. OK. I can remember years ago, my nan bought me a book all about sort of things to make and do during the holidays. OK, that's cute. I mean, it was obviously, you know, it was like a... It was a 70s edition, <laughs> um, but it had got loads of things you could make and do in it. Yeah. And one of the things it was all about was all about flower arranging, because I think it was make things you can make and do for boys and girls. Mm -hmm. So I kept reading the girls bit about flower arranging <laughs> and things and making stuffed toys. Um, and one of the things that I still remember the diagram to this day, and it said the most attractive flower arrangement is always a triangle. Oh, I'm going to remember this. OK. And I think that's always sat with me because yeah. I tend to do everything in threes. Yeah, they say about that. And everything to is triangular. Yeah. So if you can see there with those, I've done effectively mm -hmm. two triangles. Yes. If I get that in the right place, you can see there yeah. I've done effectively two triangles. Yep. So just to make it pop, I could put some gems in the middle, which is what I did on the original one. But this is always interesting because mm. the reverse tweezers are the best tweezers in the world for making flowers. OK. And the worst tweezers in the world for picking up gems. It messes with my brain a little bit. <laughs> I know, it does. <laughs> but you remember when we were doing the roll-up centres? Yeah. You, That's brilliant. Nothing's ever as easy, but yeah. you have to li literally let them go onto there and yeah. then pull it, almost, you know, just pull it off. Yeah. But you can see then how just putting that little gold in the centre mm. really pops it. Yeah, stunning. And I'm just going to do the same there. And then that is effectively done. And all you have to do then is sentiment it. Uh -huh. But if you want to take it up a notch. Yeah. And one of the things I would tend to do is if you take some more foliage. Mm. Yeah. And you just a little bit of glue on the back sure. and a little bit on the front. So I put a little bit on the front okay. and a little bit on the back. Right. And then I'm going to ease that into the flowers. And that's how we actually make the arrangement look Ooh, a I little like bit that. more natural. Yes. Yeah. So because flowers grow, mm -hmm. leaves grow in between flowers. They do, yeah. Flowers don't grow in a clump with leaves all around them like we'd imagine. Yeah. So it's the same idea. So what you can do is and say, right, well, There'd probably be a leaf or something in there, wouldn't there? And just tuck them in randomly. And by putting glue top and bottom, you don't have to press. Mm -hmm. So that when I put that card up, you can see there. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. The mix of the silver and I the like blue. That. that little bit of red mm. warmed yep. the silver and the gold on the black. Uh -huh. But again, depending on the angle, 
you will see a different colour on that. It's stunning. That Gold is at the bottom, silver beauty. at the top, but that's just literally one dye and the yep. flowers and the sprays. Everything else is just black and gold. It's amazing. That's such a beautiful sample. Um, now, just to reiterate at home, we are desperately trying our hardest. Well, I'm not, I'm stood here, but everybody else <laughs> behind the scenes are desperately trying their hardest to get the payment system back up and running. Uh, it's basically, it's been so overwhelmed because you all love these dies that it has crashed. We're trying our best. I bet you it is to do with that power cut, you know, the other yeah, day. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. Or it could have been, as I say, when, when you made us, it's payback for when you made us wait for the Zuri melt. Soz, <laughs> soz. Um, so I think, shall I just show some samples yes, till I the end? Yes, I think that's There's a really a, good idea. Yeah, some because... some beautiful ones. Absolutely. Um, um, and what I love about what the, the team have been able to do is, and I want to explain this, these are the angels. Yeah. These are not a design team. Yes, I keep saying that and I mustn't say that. It, it, no, because it's habit, but I yeah. don't have uh -huh. a design team. I have friends. Yeah. And I call them my angels and they, I send them out some dyes and say, can you do me some samples? And they do. They're wonderful. And they enjoy doing it. They help me out. But every single one of them has done something different. Yeah. And basically, oh, they all got two each. Yeah. So they all got a mix of two E's. Yeah. And every single one's come back with something different on them. And they're all around the back of the set as well. Yeah, they're just fact, brilliant. Of course, I'm, you want I'm going to be really one? naughty. No worries. Because this is what I was planning to demo next. OK. OK. Yeah. So this will be the eight o'clock show. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> OK. So that to me is, you know, I love that. That's very modern. Mm. That this is from Art Angel. This is the same die. Oh, this is incredible, isn't it? That's just mad. That's brilliant, though, yeah. I have to say. But that is, it is mad. I mean, bless her, Angie is mad. Yeah. <laughs> but that is exactly the same die, and that's what you can do and achieve. That's what I absolutely love. That is incredible. I just love, yeah. Um, yeah uh, oh, hang on, there's one more, because we've got, like, 30 seconds oh, or yeah, so. Oh, yeah, you've got to show um, Jackie's box of chocolates. I might just have to cover the chocolates. <laughs> a bit. But look at that. I bet you can guess what's in there. Isn't that absolutely stunning? What a gift that is. It, it is. And again, that's just die cutting gold twice and then it's cut up yep, to give I'm you the gonna... panels, or four times, actually, I think. Amazing. Might have to empty those. Well, we'll eat them. How's about that? We'll eat that? them. That's a good deal, I think. That sounds like so. a good plan. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Lovely. OK, um, so please don't go anywhere. Do keep trying to check out your baskets. We are working as hard as we possibly can, and do make sure you join John at 8 p.m.